Hello YouTube, this is Yorkshireman Mark and I'm happy to say that this will be the second video as you've seen. If you've seen the first video, should you buy a PSP in 2019? Then you should, if you haven't seen it yet, go watch it and then you can watch this. This is going to be a video upload of the 10 PS4 games what I personally recommend that you buy for your PS4 basically. So I'm gonna kick it off and that um and that and and there's gonna be a lot of people thinking oh no but um yeah I thought I'd kick it off and I, I, I really thought about this and I, I really have and I would say it's my it's my top ten in any case or, or what I would put into this and, and that's what I've done really so I'm gonna kick off with I do that last I'm gonna kick off with the PS4 game what I've fallen in love with over the recent uh, and uh, and I like this game I really do um, Subnautica now I didn't get this from CEX I, I got it from um, um, the game itself Twenty nine ninety nine, thirty quid. But I get it. It's a good game. I've, I've seen gameplay online. I I haven't played it yet, but I know it works. I've tested it. I've had a little mooch about with it, but yeah. And that. So yeah. So that's Subnautica. It's quite good. You're in an alien environment. You need it to. Yeah, it's a valuable role play basically. And yeah, it is what I think is a very good game. It's Subnautica. So I like this game. This is. Any game what you see on this channel, I do recommend that, that you pick up. If you've already got it, you've already got it. But if you haven't, pick it up. Pick a copy of this up. I mean, it's for PS4 as well. It's for the latest system so far. PS4. Which I think is cool. And that. Um, the next one what I'll, I'll, I'll show you. And that is... Uh, Is this one Mass Effect? Now, Mass Effect Andromeda, and that I, I like this game. I really do. I, I like the graphics on it. Like I said, I have popped it into the machine. I have tested it. I, I played on it for a couple of well, four hours actually, and I, it, it, it took me by surprise to that because I, I thought it'd be a boring game, but it's not. It's quite interesting. I like it. I really do. And. For what it was, and and for what I paid for it, I mean, you can't go wrong, can you? I mean, six quid for a PS4 game, you can't go wrong with that. So, so there you go. So that's that one. Um, now, I have played the God of War game, but this particular one, only on it's a PlayStation. Well, it is. It's it's only on PlayStation. Is this? Because that's where it says on there. It, it's it's only PlayStation. So it's a, it's a good game, but I'm, I'm waiting for the uh, the game of the year. This this was the game of the year, and I'm waiting for the game of the year edition to come out because I know when that comes out, the game of the year edition, great, you'll have all the DLC and things like that. So yeah, so that's God of War. It's the new God of War as well, and and if you watch the PSP one, I love God of War. I play God of War on PS2. A lot of people say, oh no. It's boring, it's crap. It's not. If I like the puzzles in these, I really do. Especially this one, because he's got the little boy with him and, and, and everything. And it's it's quite good. Open it, boy. Yeah, it's quite good. And and I think, for what it is, and for what I paid for it as well, I, I, I bought it new, but I bought it cheap. It come out of Curry's. I bought it cheap. 25 quid, I think that was. Not down price. Yeah. And then I've got this particular game. And that, and uh, that's FIFA 18. I have FIFA 17, 18 and 19. Um, I don't have 16 yet, but I, I do have FIFA 17. I've got this 18 and 19. But I think, and now to be truthful, when FIFA 20 comes out, I think it's going to be absolutely dire. Um, I think the makers of Pro Evolution Soccer, uh, or Pro Evolution Football, I think that game, is going to be better than this. I really do. And that's saying something. FIFA are just churning these out and picking up the money 
they're not putting any thought into it at all people have complained about it the only saving thing about this was was the journey you know that's uh, you know that story innated thing but i think fifa need to do more on that they need to put a story together a lot you know you know more like the journey they could do the journey too they could do something else and they need to really think about it or oh, so they're going to start losing fans i know fans are getting bored for fifa and i think pro evolution soccer could be better than fifa 20. and i'm saying that right here right now i think pro evolution football is going to be better than fifa 20. i have got number 19 but i ain't got 20 fifa 20. but i don't think i'll buy it but you know well i've got to do something and do it but i don't have to do it at the moment and then so that is the only sports title i've got in this um this is need for speed rivals this came over believe it or not this this came over from from the ps3 version obviously the ps4 version is is going to be a lot better on graphics and that it's really a confusing game it, it's nothing like any need for speed i ever really understand or know don't get me wrong i, I played the game i like the game it is com it is a bit confusing in the beginning but I, I, I have played it i played the game i've become a rival i've, be, I've become a police officer and i've done both sides of, of, of the spectrum of this and i've invested some hours into this particular game because when i first got my ps4 this is one of the first games i got with it the very first game was assassin's creed but this is what was one of the very first games i got need for speed rivals and then i got the rest of them and, and which up to now I have got them all now Battlefront this is for PS now I am doing a top 10 of my PS4 games and anyone who's anybody you've got to have in a top 10 Star Wars and that you must have a yeah yeah if you've got a top 10 Star Wars must be there but also a Star Trek game as well but I don't have a Star Trek game for this at the moment because um, I could have had Bridge Command for this, but it's too expensive at the moment. And it's a VR game, but at the moment, I ain't got any Star Trek games. But this must be in your top 10. It's got to be. Any top 10 of any of any games, you've got to have a Star Wars in it. And it, it deserves to be there. And, and for a PS4 game, especially this one, the Battle of Jakku and all that, early access as well. It's the early access one, isn't it? Yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely early. Hang on, I'll take this sticker off. You all know where it's come from, so it doesn't matter if I take this off now. Yeah, early access code inside. <laughs> Which I know I haven't got, so it's been used, but I'm not particularly bothered about that. But yeah, that's what that was, early access code. Yeah, Battlefront, you, you, you've got to... You know, four quid, you can't go wrong with that. So yeah, that's Battlefront, Battle of Jakku. I like Battlefront games, I like all the Star Wars Battlefront. I've got Battlefront for original Xbox. I think I've got ba <coughs> Battlefront for 360. And I've also got Battlefront for PS3 as well. So yeah, I do like these games. Yeah, so Star Wars is definitely in my top ten. Now... This one is, I like this particular game. Come again from CEX. Oh, by the way, I, I, I have sit here one night, literally, literally, night. <laughs> I have literally sat here one particular night taking all the stickers off. Um, it's Game of the Year Awards, over 200 Game of the Year Awards, and that and that's The Last of Us. Now that is a cracking game. It really is. It, it, it's a really. It, 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 I think this is better than Tom Clancy's Division, but I like the Division as well. But this is a cracking game. If you like your first first moon shooters, this is it. And PS4 and yeah. It was twelve quid, but twelve quid's better than it's better than paying full price. So that's that one. Now the next couple of well, the next three games are my favourites really, and it goes to say we out say it's Assassin's Creed. 
it's my favourite franchise. I, I really do like it. It is it is one of my favourite franchises, is this. So Assassin's Creed Rogue. And you've got to have Assassin's Creed Rogue in in your collection. Also, Assassin's Creed The Chronicles, which I've got. Three journeys, one creed. Yeah, the Chronicles, which you definitely in, you need to have in your uh, in in your collection. Unless you don't like Assassin's Creed, then you don't. <laughs> but I do. And even though I'm trying to collect for all the PS4, this is a must have as far as I'm concerned. And the last game I I bought for this um, at the moment because I haven't got the other one. Is Assassin's Creed Origins. So when I played all my Assassin's Creed, this is the last one I got, and I haven't played. I know they remastered quite a few. I think they remastered Black Flag, but I've already got Black Flag in my. I haven't got the remastered version, but I don't think I will. But yeah, I've, I've got this. So Assassin. I need the other Assassin's Creed. I haven't got that at the moment, but Assassin's Creed Origins I do like. So. I'm hoping to get the next one and hoping that'll be cool. I know it's out there. It's just getting it at a decent price. So, they're my, my top 10, top 10 games for the PlayStation 4. And I recommend all these games, by the way. I really do. I really recommend every one of them for PS4. And any game what you see on this channel I definitely do recommend it. So please, if you haven't got it, go out and pick them up. You know, you'll be surprised. I was surprised with Subnautica. It's not my kind of game, but I was very surprised with Subnautica. It's like Farming Simulator for PS4. I came onto Farming Simulator through PS3 and 360, and I was surprised how quickly I, I fell into that game. You know what I mean? A lot of people are like, oh, it's boring. But it's not. Farming simulator, it, well, it does. It is a simulator, and you're on a farm, and you've got to do what the, what a farmer does. Yes, it's in America. Yes, it's it, it's by giants. It's a damn good game, though. It's one of the. It, it, well, it is the best farming simulator you, you can get. I think the professional farm, and I think the other one, are way behind. Way behind. I'll always pick up um, a copy of Farming Simulator. And that, I, 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 yeah, I mean, if I can. And that, and, yeah, I mean, so, they are good. And if you look at the years when they came out, I think the first came out in 2008. If you go from that and work your way up to the latest one, you can see where all the changes have come. And everyone loves them. I mean, every, I, I mean, there is a bloke on, um, on, on, on YouTube. He's called Dagoin. Now, go subscribe to Dagoin. Now, Dagoin, I mean, if you want to know more about Farming Simulator, he does a survival role play on a Fridays and Saturday and Sunday, and blows me away, does that? I, I love it, I really do. Um, I've got a few shout outs to do before I forget, and I don't want to forget this. Um, and that. Ugh. And it's uh, now I think I'm pronouncing your name right. It's is it Solvington? Solvington. Thank you for subscribing to me, mate. And um, yeah, and Chris sleeps. I've seen your videos, mate. Well done. Very good. We need young people like you to trace all the history of what other people don't know, especially about London. There's hell of a lot down there. So Chris sleeps. I subscribe to you, mate. And if you like. Like a bit of history, go to uh, Chris Sleeps and that. And it just remains for me to say, get well soon, Wayne. I know your throat's a bit sore, mate. I have had it. I've been badly myself. If you look back through my videos, you can see where I've been poorly. Oh, you get well soon, Wayne, and all the best. And if you don't know Yorkshire Lad and you haven't seen his channel, subscribe to me and then go subscribe to him. You know what I mean? How my channel's got a turnstile on it because it's always spinning around, I'll tell you. So, there you go. And like I said, if I ever get to the magic number of 100 subscribers, 
there will be a subscriber special. And if you're wondering, now it's my birthday soon, this month. Um, I'm not saying exactly when it is, but it's my birthday soon. It's coming up and I am doing a birthday special. So stay tuned for that. It must probably be a bit of games and yeah, if I got any birthday cards, you know, then I'll uh, I'll open them up on video and then you can see what people sent me. But yes, I will be doing a, a, a birthday special. Um, that be I'll, I'll let you know as it gets nearer the nearer to the date of my birthday. But uh, it, it's this month. Oh yeah, it's this month. And if you like to guess how old I am then comment below. So thumbs up if you like it, subscribe if you're new, hit the information bell, press that, that lets you know when I'm uploading another film. Press the share button, hit share, share this with anybody, any other multimedia, share it on Twitter and everywhere else, and comment below. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's all one word is this, Yorkshireman66. If you like to pop over to over to Facebook, it's Mark Hill. So it's facebook.com forward slash Mark Hill. If you like to do a friend request, I'll be open to that, no problem. And then I can import you from there into my uh, into my into my group, which is called Yorkshireman. I have a Facebook group called Yorkshireman. I'm on Twitter at Time Lord Hill. If you want to subscribe to me there, so thank you, thank you for. Watching, I am absolutely amazed. I never thought I'd get one subscriber, let alone 75 of you. So I am very grateful. And when I say in comments, and when I write back to you and I say it means a lot, it's not, just not generic. I'm not saying it because it's not the truth, but yes, it is the truth. Yes, it, every time someone comments to me or someone likes these videos, it means the world to me. It really does. You matter to me. If it wasn't for an audience watching these, these these videos wouldn't be popular, would they? So this is what I'm saying. This is not only my channel, it is your channel as well. If if I'm to grow, then we've all to grow together. I want the channel to grow, I want it to become popular, and so on and so on and so on. So like I said, I'm doing a birthday special this month. I will let you know as it gets. I, I'll give you plenty of notice. Yeah, I'll give you five days notice to when my birthday is and uh, you know what I mean so I was born you know and you know and do you want to guess how old I was I know I've got to be like but hmm, not as old as what people think so I'll catch you all later and thumbs up if you like it subscribe if you're new share this please comment below and hit the information bell bye for now catch you all later